YouTube, what is up? So, as we stated before in previous videos, we're going to be doing a mixture of stuff on the channel. We're going to be doing G.I. Joe's, uh, current G.I. Joe's, and retro G.I. Joe's, as well as uh, old um, vintage Masters of the Universe uh, figures as well. Um, but today, fittingly, we're going to be doing some Marvel Legends, and in particular, we're going to be doing the Spider-Man wave. Uh, starting with this video, this is going to be more directed to the uh, hand ninjas. So, let's uh, turn this around. Now, already. And here we have the hand ninjas, as well as some members of the hand some uh, foes of the hand as well. Um, if you guys aren't too familiar with the hand, and I'm gonna say that a lot, the hand. So it's kind of it's gonna sound repetitive, but whatever. So uh, the hand was created by Frank Miller. Um, they appeared in not necessarily well the hand ninjas too, but the hand in general. Uh, yeah, it was created by Frank Miller. Uh, in Daredevil Volume 1, that would have been issue number 174, that would have been in 1981. Uh, the current roster includes uh, Kingpin, Ladies Bullseyes, which, Ladies, Lady Bullseye, which we don't have a figure of. Um, and I can see that coming sooner than later, actually. Um, uh, yeah, Kingpin, Lady Bullseye, Mystique, Typhoid Mary, uh, White Tiger and Sabretooth. Uh, Sabretooth was actually the uh, head of the uh, the uh, J Japan branch, and uh, Mystique was a member of that Japan branch as well. Um, former members included uh, Black Tarantula, Daredevil, Echo, Elektra, Gorgon, and he had ties with Hydra. Um, Hobgoblin was pretty much uh, the Kingpin's right-hand man, and he was an assassin for the Kingpin. Uh, Master Izzo, Psylocke, Wolverine, the Mandarin. I mean, the list just goes on and on. And the uh, hand uh, is an order of uh, evil mystical ninjas who are involved in organized crime and mercenary activities such as, you know, assassination plots, they were based out of Japan, founded in 1588 as a secret society of the Japanese nationalist samurai, but were co-opted by Snake Root, an ancient ninja clan, which uh, serves as a which which serves a primordial demon known only as the Beast. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. That the Beast of the Hand. Uh, enemies included Thunderbolt, Psylocke, Hercules, Daredevil, Electra, Wolverine, Hawkeye, Deadpool, amongst others. So I, I brought out a few figures. I didn't really bring out too many. But yeah, we're going to jump right into this. And you know what? I'm, I'm not even sure. I may have or may not have seen uh, people uh, show the G.I. Joe Red Ninja with this one. I don't know if that's something you guys are going to want to see and how you guys would feel about that. And I have not done any G.I. Joe's, uh, the uh, classified series whatsoever on this channel. And it sucks because I want to, but I'm having a real hard time finding uh, figures or even getting a hold of them. So I, I've talked about that in uh, in other videos. So... Yeah, I don't. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with with uh, that line anymore. It's uh, discouraging. So, yeah, I might I might uh, move away from that. I'm not sure if I even can. I do have like a subscription with a local company where uh, pretty much the base uh, waves I would get, and uh, it just, they just charge me, and then I go pick them up. But that's pretty much how it works. But anything that's exclusive, uh, Regal Cobra Commander, uh, Target exclusives, yeah, that, they're, they've been a go, no go. So uh, yeah, so now we talked about the hand a little. Um, 
here is the figure um i know you see a 22.99 uh price there actually i only paid for one and got the other two for free um picked these up locally here in las vegas at rogue toys um yeah they have a reward program so if you spend the x amount of money you get points and then with so many points you get gift cards so i had like a 50 dollars gift card and i ended up getting two hand ninjas thrown in with the rest of the case uh at no charge so we do have three i don't know how much i'm gonna like these so i picked up three there's his read up uh skilled in martial arts and espionage the ninjas of the hand are a force to be reckoned with I, I think they're going to be cool. Uh, damn, I really haven't paid any attention to any reviews. So, uh, I will, you know, I like to see for myself. Then I'll go look at other people's stuff and, and uh, you know, pretty much help out the community that way. You know, by watching, not only do I put out content, I watch other people's content. And I try to, you know, leave comments here and there and, you know, make sure I'm active in the collecting community. But, um, yeah, man, let's uh, pause this crack this thing open and then we'll talk about some of the other people that are lined up and you know do some side by sides all right so here we have two of the hand ninjas out of package and i gotta say man for 20 dollars, it's not bad at all like and i know a lot of people are probably going to complain about certain things and some things but yeah for 20 bucks man th these things are yeah they're awesome and it, it, it's it's kind of one of those things it's like well every figure oh i wish this figure had butterfly joints i wish this i wish that yeah the whatever the skirt piece on them is you know it gets in the way of articulation come on these are 20 dollars figures like they're dope like what what else is there to say i think hasbro has has you know done an amazing job with even you know even with their budgets and stuff they've given us like damn near everything we could ask for you know maybe certain things here and there could be a little better but then you know in the in the uh if you you know step back and look at the big picture we're, we're getting stuff that normally we probably would never normally get and you know and, it, and it's thanks to you know the marvel legends communities that are out there that are asking for this stuff and and you know showing them that, that you know hey you know we would really like x y z and then they go out and make it and give it to us like we did get hand ninjas before and you know for the, for those for that time that we got those hand ninjas which would have been uh I think it was a two pack, if I'm not believe, like right at the beginning of uh, of uh, Hasbro's run with Marvel Legends. Like this was right after Toy, uh, just maybe not right after Toy Biz. Uh, maybe it could have been, but that's neither here nor there. These hand ninjas are really dope, and uh, you know, as far as the accessories are are, are concerned, like we got you know uh, a, a few things. But it, I, I still think it's enough to where you can, you know, get different poses and get different looks from these guys. And, and I think they warrant maybe picking up, you know, five, you know, you know, four, three, maybe even. But I think you can get them in uh, such different poses that, you know, you, you'd be happy with picking up multiple. Whereas, you know, some things like, let's say, multiple man, like I, I didn't want to pick up more than three because... You know, even though you got three different head scopes, the posability of him, is, you know, is kind of hindered with the jacket and, you know, the look is, you know, it's just slightly different, you know, no weapons, no different hands. And, you know, they pretty much are just the same, just different, different head scopes with three different head scopes, you know, so maybe three is fine. Maybe four, you get two of them looking the same and the other two different, but, you know, for an army builder, they're perfect. There's, I think there's uh, nothing wrong with them. We got this uh, sickle here just to give you guys a general idea. We got two uh, open hands and we got two gripping hands, which is, you know, really, sorry, really generic. But, you know, it works for this figure, you know, 
and this is really really dope i'm happy with them i actually kind of wish i would have picked up more um maybe in the near future i'll go grab a couple more but yeah i really like them and you know like like them their posability i think is actually really good excuse me i know i'm not doing that great of a job right now on camera but man these things are awesome and i, I really like them i i think uh you know to hear complaints about these um it's kind of it's kind of be like i'm just gonna have to shrug it off because i i think they're awesome um you know with what they had to work with you know throwing like an ab crunch on here probably wouldn't work like it'll throw the whole thing off so this diaphragm joint here for me oh they do have an actual ab crunch underneath so you get the ab crunch under which is a little hindered which is I'm still fine with it's there you know maybe you can run that up just a little bit just to get that crunch a little more but it's there so I'm gonna probably have to play with these off camera and uh, and you know see what I think about him then but so far man I'm, I'm really liking him so he did come with uh, stilt man's legs right so now we have two sets um, me being a genius I am was trying to pull it apart here but it doesn't it comes apart a little higher so these port right in right this will plug in like so see if you can get that there you go and then you would get this which is that back there right and then from here you can just get this plug that right in and make your stilt man you know that much taller one thing i thought was kind of cool is the the base that they gave us for the stilt man now we're going to get multiple bases and one thing that would have been really cool would have been uh if we were able to use the uh bases for the uh for the ninjas and what i mean by that like let's say we got you see how it has these uh ports on there well, it only fits the stilt man. I mean, there may be a figure or two that can fit on this. But if we had it for, like, let's say, like, the 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 hand ninjas and you can port these in there, we can have them, like, in action. And then that would have been perfectly fine. However, these uh, pegs are, are too big. And, um, yeah, that, that was, like, a missed opportunity where they could have, could have you know, used that since we're going to get multiple of them. I can't imagine anybody getting multiple, yeah, whatever. It is what it is. No no sense in complaining about it now. But but that was like something they could have given us. It would have been just really, really dope. But um, yeah, so Kingpin, as we know, he's the uh, head of the, currently the head of the hand in uh, North America, the United States. Uh, we got Electra. Uh, she was a member of and now she fights against them. Silver Samurai was actually recruited by them and uh, Actually defeated them uh, Helping the Avengers uh, Wolverine he's gone back and forth Electra member foe um, Daredevil I've seen him uh, Run with the hand ninjas in comics, but I, I, I don't know if he's a member of the hand. I know the, the lady bullseye is but i'm not sure about him so much but i just threw him in there just because it looked cool whatever and all you know we ultimately we got daredevil but yeah dope figures i would suggest picking these up um you know maybe one and then maybe if you like it you know you can buy multiple if you're not a fan of army building then one is enough uh but it, it's a good figure and you know i'm not trying to to say that it, it, it's perfect but for what it is i think it's really really good so we're going to pause this we're going to whip out one of those gi joe red ninjas and then see how they look side by side all right so here's the uh red ninja from the gi joe classified line and i gotta say this is the first time i held a gi joe classic classified figure in hand and i'm actually pretty pleased with it um there's 
some things about it that I like and not much that I dislike about it. You know, it, it looks kind, kind of weird when you drop down the legs, but then if you're going to have them like in a dynamic pose or, or something like it's really dope. And, you know, this is a review on the hand ninjas and not this guy here. Maybe in a future time, I'll take a look at these uh, red ninjas and we'll go from there. But I got to say, some of the accessories that uh, this guy comes with, I just plugged in his uh, little backpack uh, there. And um, some of the accessories that they come with could go hand in hand with these ninjas. And, and you know, we only got the... Uh, the sickles and the uh, two swords, or well, one sword for each figure. But this guy came with uh, quite a few accessories. We had two size and, uh, you know, a couple of axes. And, I mean, just look at that. And, you know, for instance, if we wanted to put a sigh on him, like that would look like really good. So yeah, even if you're not a fan of uh the G.I. Joe classified wave, one of these guys with all these weapons would 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 work perfectly. Like I know these are a little smaller, but you know, if you got multiple of the hand ninjas, you know, you can dress them up differently and and it'll go a long way, man. So yeah, that's going to do it, man. We're not going to get too much into the Jad Joe classified figure. We're going to save that for a later day. Uh, he got mad at me. Anyway, but yeah, like, anyway. Yeah, we're going to save save that for another day. But these weapons that he did came with, man, I, I think will look really dope with uh, these hand ninjas. So... I just realized I repeated myself, but anyway, yeah, one second, maybe I should have did some of this off camera, but either way, like, anyways, so yeah, they, they do look good with them, you know, I can't really do too much posing right now, but man, you guys, I know, I know you guys get the gist of it, so that's going to do it, man. Please like, subscribe, and as always, take care.